All right, another basic thing looking after your engine is to check that you've got enough oil in the engine. It obviously doesn't use oil fast at all, but you should just be in the habit of checking it every day before you take the machine out. The dipstick uh, is found at the bottom side of the engine, little orange cap. Ensuring the engine, the machine is parked on level ground. If it's not on level ground, you won't get an accurate reading. So if you're parked on level ground, you remove the dipstick, then you clean it because the dipstick may have got a splash of oil from you moving the machine to where you're measuring. You put it back in again, then you remove it, and then you check the oil level on the, uh, on the stick. As long as the oil is reflecting on the stick, you're okay. If you can't see any oil on that stick, you've got too little, and then you need to top it up. To top it up, uh, you want a little funnel, put it in the opening there, and use a multi-grade oil like a 1030 or something like that and top up your oil. Make sure you don't put in too much. Just as you don't want too, too little oil, you also don't want too much. After every 50 hours of use, which could be about a month, depending on how, how much your engine is being used, you need to change your oil. And uh, that's done by draining the oil from the sump plug. There's one on that side of the engine. There's another one on the other side of the engine. So you open up one of those sump plugs the one on that side is actually a little easier to get to the way we built the, the pit vac. And you take that plug out, you drain the oil, put the plug back in and replace the oil with 600 mils of new engine oil.